let's see the branches. Hutchinson and Waters illustrated their idea of English language teaching by the picture of a tree. In this picture, ESP is supposed to general English, which is usually taught for exam purposes. In this tree, we are going to see that the roots of the ELT tree represent the learning and communication, while the trunk represents the language teaching. The next division represents the English language teaching out of which three branches um, indicate. First of all, English as a mother tongue, English as a foreign language, and English as a second language. ESP, that is to say English for specific purposes, is broken down into three branches. We have the first one, English for Science and Technology, here. Then we have English for Business and Economy. And the third branch, we have English for Social Sciences. Okay? And each of the subjects, each of these subject areas is further divided into three branches. English for academic purposes and English for occupational purposes, as you can see in each of them. Um, an example of English for occupational purposes for English for science and technology is English for technician, for example, whereas a, an example of English for academic purposes, you have English for medical studies. So, at the top of the tree, you can see that we have um, the courses which are very specific for each field. But we have to bear in mind that sometimes this division cannot be so clear because some uh, people can be working and studying simultaneously and they can take two courses simultaneously and sometimes the division on, between English for academic purposes and English for occupational purposes, it's not so clear.